So what happened today? That was kind of neat. I, I liked that. <clears throat> yeah, it was cool. We got a call. You know, you always, and I always appreciate it whenever you take your blot out the names and the faces and and put up your messages that you get because you get a lot. I do, and they're real. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, and I don't I don't want to put anybody on blast. I just I want to share information. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. Uh, because of your show, uh, a nice lady on the east side of the United States said uh, she wanted to do some consulting. She was a broker, broker carrier, right? So she had scheduled an appointment, <clears throat> but at the same time, I, I always try to call people if I can a few minutes before or the day before to find out, are we doing this? What do you need? Blah, blah, blah. I don't want to take people's money, right? Right. Yeah, right. <clears throat> it's always better to talk to them first. So anyway, yeah. uh, you had indicated that you wanted to be a part of the phone call because of the broker. Right. Now, right. It wasn't a straight up coaching. It This was, I'm always interested in broker carrier now. Yeah. yeah. So we'll be doing more of these together. But yeah. <clears throat> so the question is, is why were you interested in this, Jay? Why were you interested in this phone call? Well, it, right, well because essentially, number one, and I said this, I said this, I don't think it was on that phone call, but I said, I think carriers get the microphone a lot more than brokers. And I want to start putting the microphone up to what the brokers have to say. Now, I know many drivers and carriers right there are going to disagree with what I said, but and, there, and there's never going to be full agreement. And this is going to be a painful process. Um, I think actually it affects, I know it affects my views. I've seen it, it affects my likes. People do not <laughs> like some of what we're doing here, but this is really important for business. It, well, yeah. Right? We can make a yeah. clickbait show, but that is, that's not what this industry needs. <clears throat> Right. So as the as the conversation goes, you're interested in it because you think, hey, brokers need that. Pe- we need to get the message out. What brokers deal with, right? Yes. Something like that. I mean, yes. brokers are real people doing real business. They are real people. They're in the carrier, right? They, That's what we all. Think. And they're positive <laughs> that they perform a service. Yeah. Yeah. So as we as we talked, I I heard some things. I don't know about you, but I heard some things, and I thought, oh. You know, she had similar problems to a carrier, right? In that oh. not recognizing how to really get, you got to drink upstream. If you're at the end of the line, drinking at the end of the, of the hose, well, you know, you're, you're left with whatever. Well, and here's what we're talking about, just for the viewers that are like, what are you guys talking about? Here's what we're talking about. We're talking about relationship yes. in business. Yes. If you want a business and you want to own your business and you want to maybe add a fleet or add a truck and a trailer someday, or I don't know what you want to do. We'll just assume for the sake of this conversation, you're in this because you want to do something later, right? Is that fair? Yeah, you do. You're you're bu- you're seriously building a business, and there's not any midsize or large carrier fleet that doesn't also have a broker side to the business. Right. right. So one of the things my takeaways Even from if today, it's an OEM. Was, and you say this a lot. What's the difference between the carrier and the broker? They both got problems, and I think you're starting to see it better now than you ever have, Amen. which is absolutely relationship. Viewers. That's why I believe in this message so much because it's working on me. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm like, I'm, I'm a disciple up at the pulpit. Right. So, I mean, the thing is, here's the deal, man. There, there was nothing wrong with the way this phone call was doing business. Nothing wrong at all. Not at all. No, not at all. It just, but it's there harder. is. It's a lot harder. Yeah. So, what? So, what were some of the takeaways that you thought might be hard, Jay? Well, here, here's what it, for for the I want to I want to just straight up. If you're a carrier driver, you don't know what Jay and Ty are talking about. I want to help you out. Uh, carriers are looking carriers that look at load boards or are waiting for loads to come to them or on a screen or in their dashboard or a phone call from the dispatcher are in the same position as a broker that is waiting for lead generators to post leads, to send them leads or for the ads to get clicked rather than being proactive and picking up a phone and calling somebody and saying, Hey, this is what I do. Can I help you? 
Wow. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> That's all you got to do. It's crazy. It's real though, right? And and to yeah. also practice what I preach, I've been going to dealerships and walking in and saying hello and knocking over the danishes and spilling the coffee because I'm nervous. <laughs> But I, I'm like, hey, I'm Jay at Auto Transport Intel. I have a YouTube channel. Don't kick me out. You know, but I want to talk about car shipping. Can we talk about car shipping? Yeah, well, yeah, okay, yeah, we can. You got 30 seconds. <laughs> but I'm ta- we're I'm talking. Buying- we are now yeah. talking. Yeah. So I, I guess I guess the, the big thing that uh, <clears throat> you're right. The broker deals with the same thing the carrier does. And what I've always said, if you're a carrier and you call me crying about the broker, I'm going to tell you too bad. You can go do exactly what they're doing. And if you want, I can show you how to do it even better. And I know this is, and that's the thing is, that's what, what you just said. It's a tough pill because I want, my knee jerk reaction is to disagree with you, Right. Oh, has been for how long we've been buddies. I was a dispatcher. We've had this, I'm we've like, had this debate for how long? Like, how many exactly. years? I'm like, dude, I, <laughs> dude, I, that's great, Ty, but I got to call this load board. I got to call this load right now. And you got to sit next to me. I was on the phone for an hour trying to get one load. That's a true story. No, one car. One car. <laughs> <laughs> one car. One not a load. It was one car. Oh. It wasn't one hour. It was two. And I think I think it was during that drive, and that was not planned. We just we went down to the Chrome Mafia show in Springfield, and oh. uh, that was a lucky moment. That was one of those moments. It was good. That was. It was weird. <clears throat> it was and I think I was oh, like, what? yeah, you know what? What were you talking about? Calling people. <laughs> 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 so here's where i'm at i'm i'm staying the same if you want to build a business i don't care if you're a carrier or a broker do me a favor go talk to car dealers either at their lot or the auction i can't get into the auction go talk to them at their lot go talk to them easy two easy questions where do you buy cars where do you sell cars <laughs> it's and i mean and then uh, and that's a flood of dialogue. If you're paying attention, and that's the thing is, that's what's fun, is that I believe on Auto Transport Intel, there are already, there's now 120 live shows. You are welcome to dig in the archive, go into the video description, and there's time codes. You don't have to watch the whole two-hour show. Find the time codes of the sections where you need to beef up on your knowledge, get motivated, go into the dealership, and just start throwing out just start dropping words that i i said or experts said on the show one little tip that you and i have kind of figured out in this coaching deal if you've got a one ton and a three car trailer or smaller go to category two that's your used car lot it's not your ford chevy dodge audi honda do your five do your five new car store used car lot buy here pay here Wholesaler, rental car company. There might be more. Those are pretty solid. If you want to know more about what Ty is talking about, there's the email address, Ty at ctsbusinesscoaching.com. You can go to ctsbusinesscoaching.com or was it 417-483-2764? Dang, I think I've watched the ad too many times. Here's one, one more quick thing. Okay. The, today's phone call that kind of, it's still been running in the back of my head, oh. which is <clears throat> they're paying for leads. And it, volume is down, paying for leads, not getting a lot of return on the leads, right? Yeah. Is that what you heard? And I'll give you a percentage. I'm going to shock you. Less than 5% of the leads that, brokers pay for actually convert into a customer less than five percent right and these what what we're talking about today is the personally owned vehicle yes. p-o-v the hardest move in auto transport Hands no down. thank you yeah no, thank you there are plenty of people out there that have created an incredible business reliable yeah and and you've got the snowbirds and enclosed and there's all <laughs> Get with a car collector. There's all kinds of ways to do it right. 
Yeah. But if you yeah, just and, and you can do it. Here's here's the thing. You can do it. What we're talking about is used cars. That's all I ever talk about, right, Jay? Yes. I can connect you with the OEM. Yes. We oh, I yes. Can. I mean I can I know people, but really where it's at, how many 2018 used cars? Forty million. And and and, so, and you the used car market is way bigger and active than the new car market. So if you're if you're focused on used and you're new and you're you're a small company, do not think you're missing out. OEM <laughs> is OEM is no joke, and you need a larger company. You got to have a lot more trucks. It's a whole other ball of wax. Whole different game. And the amount of whole insurance that they're thinking about, and I mean, it's 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 different. Yeah, it's the yeah. major leagues. Yeah, but really back to what I call the basics. Seriously, go stop at the used car lot. Ask who buys cars, where do you buy cars, and where do you sell cars? Damn. And you, another tip, quick tip, you want same answers. So leave that guy's lot, go to the other guy's lot, and see if he gives you the same answer as the guy you just left. And if you, and if you here's and here's a good one too. I was when I was at the dealership. <laughs> here's a couple of good curveballs. A, so what digital live auctions are you using right now? Yeah, How has that one. changed yeah. the way you were doing car shipping, right? Now, this shows that you're you're paying attention to the changes, whoa. right? That's like, big... whoa, really? Yeah. This is where Jay and I come together and form the, what did you call it, the double helix? The double helix, man. <laughs> this is where we come together because I'm old school, go meet the customer. Jay's new school, load board, CRM, dashboard, TMS, all those things. I don't even know what half of them are, guys. I'll be honest. I really don't. I let Jay know that kind of stuff because Jay knows that stuff. And I'm telling you, he's right. You do need it. That, but the way, the pace in which things are changing oh is fast. Oh, my God. And, <laughs> and that's, what's so, that's what's so great about these trade shows I go to. I'm telling you, yeah. I think, I think the trade shows should, man, they should hire me to, to talk about these shows. Because the amount of information at these shows is ridiculous. You learn so much. All right, listen. Hey, Ty, we got to get on with Superflow, buddy. I uh, can't wait. Mark, Muzi, good to see you guys. Thanks, Jay. Thanks, buddy. I'll talk to you soon. All right. Hey, guys, stick around. We're going to be right back with Mark from Superflow. <laughs> 